This is a prayer for you. Today we are praying that the peace of God will establish itself in your life. That the peace of God will take root, will be forefront in your life. We're praying the scriptures that the peace of God will be in your life today. Peace over your mind. Today, in this season, even in this moment, there's so many distracting thoughts, images, voices, circumstances that are causing so many people to have disturbances, delusions, disruptions in the mind. But today we pray the peace over your mind. Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 7, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And so we're praying that the peace of God will guard, will defend, will cover your mind in Jesus' name. Peace in your cognitive processing, peace in your mental imagery, peace in your comprehension, peace in your thoughts, peace in your mind. We pray the peace of God in your family, peace in the relationships in the family, peace in the generational transcendence of the family patterns, peace in the forthcoming establishment of family roots. The Bible tells us in Genesis 17, 7, I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. We pray that the peace of God that causes an everlasting covenant to be bounded within every family member, every family establishment, every family pattern, every family connection. The peace of God will cause to be a descendant's transcendence from generation to generation. The peace of God over your family. We pray the peace of God over your past and into your future. Many people are stuck in a place of irreconciled confusion, guilt, shame, abandonment, rejection because of past errors, because of past traumas, because of past uncontrollable situations. But we are praying that the peace of God will reconcile your past into a new future. The Bible tells us in the book of Philippians 3, 13 brothers and sisters i do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it hmm. but one thing i do hallelujah forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead so we pray that the peace of god will give you the strength to strain toward what is ahead what is good what is acceptable what God has for you is not in your past. What he has for you is waiting for you in your future. For God has forgiven you. He has cast it into the sea of forgetfulness. God is establishing new relationships, new image of who you are in Christ Jesus. Stretch in peace. Press in peace. Move forward in peace. 
letting go of those things that have strained you in the past and pressing forward in the peace of your hope in a future in Christ Jesus. Peace over your past and peace as a passageway into your future. We pray this prayer that the peace of God will reign. It will be evident and it will be established over your mind, your family, from your past and into your future. The peace of God over you. We pray that this prayer was a blessing to you. And may you walk, live, rest in the peace of God. My name is Dr. Cindy Jordan, and this is the Wisdom Series, a byproduct of Going Places with Jesus Ministries. Be sure to like and subscribe, and let the peace of God be upon you. Shalom.